Lieutenant Matt Novak, N-O-V-A-K. All right, Lieutenant, what happened? Um, okay, at approximately 0207 hours this morning, we received a call of shots fired in the 900 block of Hornblen. Uh, witnesses reported seeing a fight in a north parking lot on the north side of 900 Hornblend um, and uh, saw a scuffle and then heard shots fired. Um, during that scuffle and after the shots fired, there was a victim that was hit um, and she was transported to the hospital with non-life-threatening wounds. Uh, suspect has not been identified. Uh, they fled in a northbound direction from the scene. Was the woman who was hit involved in the fight, or did she just happen to be walking by? No, she was not involved in the fight. What uh, kind of car are they looking for? Uh, there's no description of the car at this time. Did you say suspect or suspect? Was it a group of men? It was a group of men. No one saw uh, the person that shot, uh, just a group of men fighting in the parking lot. Clearly you interviewed people at Bar West. Yes. It, was it perhaps over a woman, over property? No one. At this time, at this time, we just don't know. We don't have those details. You know, uh, were, the, were the shots directed at the bar or at someone, or they just know that that's where the shots ended up coming at them? Uh, the the shots happened in the parking lot on There's the north side of Hornblen, right down here. Um, right now, the uh, the the direction is is the exact direction is unknown. Can you tell us any more about the, the woman who was hit? With, what she was doing, or it sounds like she didn't have any As far as we can tell, she was just an innocent bystander walking by. It's scary. And no description on the suspect whatsoever? No, we don't. I'm sorry. Not at this time. Is there a concern, um, PD, this is not the first Sunday night, Monday morning incident that's happened that's kind of resulted in violence. Anything you want to address about that? Um, you know what? I'll refer you to the Northern Division uh, Lieutenant or Command Staff uh, re regarding that. How many people were, you know, how many people were inside at the time, outside, was it like chaos? Uh, yeah, we, we, it was described to us as a large group of people in the parking lot, um, you know, 10 to 20 or upwards. Is there surveillance video? Uh, we've checked surveillance video and it's, uh, it, right now it's inconclusive as to whether it captured any of this. Do you know what type of weapon was used? Uh, do not. And it was the club closing at the time, I guess it was around 2 o'clock? Yeah, it was around, it was, a, it was around bar break. That means everybody's out in the street. Yeah, exactly. There was there were crowds out in the street from bar break. When we're talking about a bar getting out and a lot of people out in the street, talk about just in general terms it, how how more difficult that makes this scene or how much more dangerous when something like this happens because you got a lot of people walking around that aren't necessarily involved in this. Right. Well, obviously, if you have more crowds out in the street and you have someone that is is shooting, uh, you can have more potential victims out there. So. Clearly, um, yeah, it's it's a little more dangerous with a lot more people out when something like this occurs. With that, with that said, with all those people and this one woman shot, and what the posterior is that? Was that a lucky break for people who were out and about last night? Um, I, I, I mean, I would say so. Uh, we're, I think we're lucky based on the fact that there were crowds out and and it was bar break time that no one else was hit. Street closures, uh, just this block right here? Yes, the 900 block of Hornblen. On both sides of the building? It looks like you guys are in the alley as well? Yeah, on the east and west end of the street and okay. the alley. Any idea how long you'll be out here? Uh, probably at least a couple more hours.